Hello and welcome to another Raggy's Beers, Wines and Spirits review. Third one tonight. I'm a trooper. Um, Going to be reviewing McGuigan Black Label Red. Uh, a North Eastern Australia Red. Now McGuigan, when I was at Sainsbury's, um, they had the McGuigan uh, Shiraz McGuigan Estate Shiraz it was and I tell you what whenever it went on offer it used to fly out you know really sold well and then since after that they, well I was there they bought out more versions of it uh, you know different grapes obviously but a really good selling uh, wine so this is a purpley uh, purpley tinge to it, I mean it's obviously a red wine, it's funny because it's red but it's nearly black isn't it, but it's, they call it red, I suppose if it was called black or purple wine it wouldn't sound as nice as red wine, yeah, who knows, Ooh, really strong on the nose, um, obviously dark fruit aroma, yeah it gives you a, a, a sense of warmth on the nose my dog, Close that door because it's bloody tap tap tap. Although I love him, cocker spaniel, nutty as they come. Stress, gets stressed to buy Evan just like his dad, you know. And uh, and all he wants is love, like his dad will, I suppose. Yeah. So, we don't drink like me, that's probably a good thing as well. Okay, no. When he eats the wrong thing, we, we know about it. My, my Deccan knows about it. But that's another story for another time. <clears throat> so, yeah. Got a really strong aroma to it. You know, some red wines, they're not very strong on the aroma side, but this fella, really strong on the aroma. And the mouth's watery and ready to taste it, so that's a good sign. Nice sweetness. Reminds me of, of the Yellowtails. If you've never had a Yellowtail wine, you are missing out on some of the best wines that are produced anywhere. Ignore the price, six or seven pound a bottle. Even if you're a wine snob, ignore the price. Get your get yourself Yellowtail Shiraz, Yellowtail Merlot, um, any of the Yellowtail range are beautiful. The reds especially. The Yellowtail Shiraz, Merlot and Malbec are the best out of the bunch. And, uh, but all of them are absolute stunning wines. And uh, yeah, those and the Casalero del Diablos, oh, again, stunning wines. But we're reviewing this, so one must uh, keep to the review um, format, as it were. But yeah, stunning. I'm loving the sweetness of this. A sweetness with fruitiness. The aroma. Um, fools you into thinking it's a different wine. And when you taste it, it's really nice. Um, oh, and strong. What's the percentage? Oh, my neck, that's strong. 12.5%. Not strong as you'd think. But, um, yeah, really pleasant easy going wine definite taste of cherries in there and blackberries just trying to pick out the flavours it's not easy um, sometimes to read the back of the bottle although you know when you've had a drink and you try and read the back of some of these bottles it's not easy so this classic red wine has great fruit flavours of spicy plum, cherry and blackberry. Whoa! It's nice to get, uh, what's the word? I can't think of the bloody word now. To be right. 
I was thinking plum as well, you know, but I, did, I thought, dare I say it? It is a well balanced wine and a smooth mouth filling finish. With a smooth mouth filling finish. Yeah, I'll say that. Wow. So it's great that I actually got the cherry and blackberry right. I was thinking plum, didn't say it. But, uh, whew, that is good. I'm, I'm happy about that. Yeah, not a lot of things make me happy these days. Stress and anxiety. Whew. But anyway, yeah, I'm, yeah I'm, I'm pleased about that. That's good. I can taste the plum now, thinking about it. Mm. But, um, yeah, a really nice, this is a wine that say you've, you've got friends who, who like the Blossom Hills but want to move on to something slightly better uh, that's not nice is it slightly more the next step before we get on to wines with tannins, earthy wines uh, fine wines because a lot of people can't take fine wines, you know, they don't like it it's just too much um, I had some wine that I got from Sainsbury's when I worked there and it was this was a twenty-seven pound bottle of wine, which is steep and you know price, and it was bloody hot. It wasn't that great at all, but it was because at that time my uh, appreciation of wines wasn't as good as it was these days. So I can appreciate a finer wine now than I could then. To me, it just tasted a bit too much, you know. And nowadays, those sorts of wines, would, I'd be able to pick them out very easily. Although, not um, not all wines have to be expensive. Wines around the 10 to £15 pound mark would be just as good. And especially wines that cost 4,000 quid. And then you've, I've seen them in, in the papers where wines, £5,000 for a bottle of wine. Who the bloody hell is going to pay for that? You've got to have some very... You've, You've got to be able to waste a lot of money to pay for that sort of wine. I mean, I, when I go to pubs, like um, restaurants, like Miller and Carter, and the wines are £36 a bottle, I'm thinking, I'm not paying that. I know how much that wine costs in real life. No way you're charging me that for the bottle of wine. Even if it is a nice Malbec and it goes well on a lovely steak. Oh, I could just eat a steak now. But anyway. <clears throat> yeah. This is a very nice wine going down a tree. I'm trying to keep it in front of the camera. I forget where the camera is sometimes. I can see my face on the uh, little screen in front of me. Absolutely lovely. Beautiful taste. Um, I do like McGregans. I have tasted their estate Shiraz, the Pinot Grigio, the Chardonnay. Um, I'm trying, Merlot, when I was at Sainsbury's, trying to think, there's more now. I'm sure when after I left, they expanded the range, because the range was a good, it, it, it is a nice tasting wine. If it's still there now, I've no idea, because it's been a while since I left. Four years, and sadly, you know, I really did love that job. I loved working on the beers, wines and spirits department. Hated the hours, working till 10 o'clock on a Friday and Saturday just pissed me off. But, you know, uh, I had some good friends um, on there and uh, I do miss my uh, working in retail. It's not for everyone and it isn't, you know, it's hard work, harder work than you think, especially on certain departments. But for interaction with customers and staff, there were some fantastic staff and customers and uh, I really, you know, got used to a lot of people, especially working on booze, because I've got a love of booze, as as, as much as these people have. Ah, good times. And I talk to a lot more people than I do these days. These days, I'm lucky if I've talked to five people a day. Them days, it'd be 100, 200 a day. Made for, made for an interesting day. Although the managers were tossers, but aren't managers tossers in all professions. <clears throat> but anyway, this is lovely. So, purpley red in colour. On the nose, uh, dark fruits on the nose, on the taste. 
cherry, blackberry, plum. Very easy drinking, goes down so easy. Uh, strong, stronger than what you think, stronger than what the taste implies. Out of five, a jolly good, for me, 4.6 out of five. That is a, a very good red wine. That's just got me R's and W's right then, didn't I? Yeah, a very good red wine. Um, that's all I can say about it, really. Really nice. I mean, I bought this in a little bottle. Uh, you can buy it in large bottles, and I would say, yes. Very good. Very drinkable on its own, or drinkable with uh, a nice blue cheese, you know, like a Stilton or something. Or if you don't like, uh, you know, or even with a steak. All red wines go well with steak, especially stronger red wines. Right, that's me done. Three reviews. That's it for tonight. I've had enough. Thanks for watching. See you soon.